Welcome to yet another unboxing video on the Watch Kaki channel and today we're going to unbox this Seiko watch here. Uh, it is a Seiko Pro Specs but uh, it is not exactly a diver. Mm, this is not a new watch, it's not a brand new watch, it's not a loan set from our boutique and I actually bought this watch, I just collected this watch from the seller. He's a very nice guy and uh, uh, when I viewed the watch just now, it was in tip-top condition, it's like almost brand new. Uh, so I thought I'll just do an unboxing video of the watch before I do the actual full review. So this is the SBEP005 and it is commonly known as the Digi Tuner or the Digital Tuner. So let's just, you know, take out the inner box. Uh, this watch is actually fresh off the back seat. <laughs> so, I thought I'll just do an unboxing here. So, uh, we've got the uh, booklets and think sort of a warranty card. Uh, the seller told me he bought this one from Japan. So, uh, looking at the warranty card, I would say it's legit. It's from Japan because warranty card is printed in Japan. In Japanese, sorry. Alright, so in a box, it says Seiko Pro Specs, but uh, I'm very aware that uh, this series of DG Tuner, they call it the Feel Master Tuner, so uh, I don't think they are true blue divers. Alright, so here it is. Ta da! The SBEP005 DG Tuner. Alright, so here it is. It's a really big watch. Alright, trying to avoid the reflections <laughs> of the crystal here. So, uh, first impressions, uh, the, the watch feels very light, okay? <laughs> it doesn't feel like a Seiko, alright? Most Seikos, you know, uh, stainless steel casing, uh, even I think I've got that uh, solar tuna that is, uh, you know, it's got a plastic shroud, but I think this one is a full plastic casing if I'm not wrong. I need to be sure that the mid case here is also plastic. Alright, doesn't feel like it is metal. Okay, so looks really good. Okay, uh, it's actually bigger than I than I expected. Um, what I like about this watch is um, I've been looking at this model and uh, I really like the fact that number one, the digits are very big. <laughs> I like I like it that the digits are very big and I think it's got a pretty useful a duo or a two liner here. So. Let's say if you're traveling, which we don't do these days, <laughs> unfortunately. So let's say if you're traveling and you want to, you know, toggle or, you know, see both uh, time zones. Let's say if you're, you know, looking at your home time and you've got the second time zone here. So um, you can read both times at once. So I thought that was, that was, that's going to be a very useful feature. So uh, I thought of giving this model a try and uh, I'm glad I got this at a very good price. All right, uh, so the hardware here is also gold. You've got gold buttons and a gold buckle. All right, so let's just take a look and see how it fits on my very macho under six inch wrist. So the man with the macho wrist is back uh, behind the camera. And here you can see it's a really big watch, but uh, the good thing is it doesn't feel heavy, all right? It actually feels like I'm wearing a G-Shock, so uh, I'm glad it's not so heavy. And perhaps that's why they used only plastic for building this watch. And uh, all right, so I'm very surprised because it doesn't feel like a Seiko. <laughs> and uh, I would say it's a mishmash of Seiko and G-Shock, all right? I apologize for the fingerprints here on the screen. Um, not too sure about this watch. I've got mixed feelings at the unboxing, all right? <laughs> Very surprised at the build and the overall weight and feel of the watch, all right? Never had a Seiko that feels so plasticky and so light, all right? And uh, okay, uh, the back plate is of course metal and I would say it has to be a really thin sheet metal kind of, you know, it's more or less like a Casio G-Shock uh, backplate kind of material, all right? And, and then they've 
you know mated this to a plastic case all right I, I know there should be a better name to call uh, this material maybe resin or I don't know high class or high tech resin but you know at the end of the day it's still uh, plastic so all right stay tuned for the full uh, review of this watch the SPEP005 stay tuned I'll see you soon this is the watch kaki bye bye